Good afternoon and Jai Hind everyone. Welcome to the podcast from Sunbeam English School Bhagwanpur. I Aditya and I Riddhi and today we have amongst us Mr. Sandeep Mukherjee, the COO of Sunbeam Group of Education Institutions. Sir is educator, administrator and a quiz master and today we would like to have his views on time management and hard work. Sir, can we begin with the questions? Yeah, please. So my first question for you will be what uh, what according to you is fear into in students life and how to overcome with it Very intriguing question See fear is primarily absence of adequate knowledge By practice by the instinct of human behavior we fear something or somebody who or what is not known to us but as we start learning more and more about the person or the object the fear factor starts getting converted into interest factor so the more interested you get by passage of time as your knowledge about the object increases the fear vanishes so basically in a student's life we are afraid of certain parts of our courses certain chapters of our syllabi certain concepts about mathematics or accountancy or science these are some fear pockets for students so what we need to do to come out of this fear is we need to get into them once we have identified that okay this is what is the fear we need to get into them and start gradually learning it with a very easy pace so that we become friends with those you no know, black holes so the fear moves thank you sir sir what is time management and how to be a effective and efficient time manager see the time manager is obviously milord sitting there we cannot what we can manage is we can manage the time not to manage us if we are liking see if somebody says that i don't have time he or she is a liar period it cannot be that i don't have time for something yes what it can be is i cannot make out time for this and i can always make out time for something provided it interests me there are certain things there are certain work there are certain tasks which may not interest us personally but still we need to execute them we need to work and for that that is where the time management factor comes what that we need to develop an interest for it we need to find a way so that things become interesting to us or things become connected to us and we don't have to phase out the time exclusively for it everything is possible because all creatures have got just 24 hours in a day we all are earthlings so it's a myth that i can manage time no i cannot yes i can make better utilization of time and of course what we cannot do today maybe we are able to do tomorrow with much better focus so let's remain focused about what we have to do and time will start getting assailed with all of us and we cannot be managed by time of course that we have to take care of and we need to just do what we have to do thank you sir for your valuable words sir can you tell us how to effectively utilize our free time again i said as i said you cannot say that i don't have time and then there is this problem of free time also right so when did time become free so what is free time basically in a student's life what is free time is like your friends have gone to the field to play but you don't like going out to the field to play and hence you feel that you have a free time but here the choice matters and what you need to and how you need to utilize your time is entirely up to your interest your resources your preferences your connection with resources your connection with your friends and peer 
and obviously your you know kind of goal in life also so that's say suppose you uh, are um, uh, you want to learn a lot and lot about technology then obviously you will invest your time in a computer maybe in a tab or maybe in a in a book in a library where you get such resources and you spend your time so utilizing time is like developing something developing a hobby which interests you sometimes it is just silent it is you no know, sleeping in us and we don't recognize we don't identify we don't knock it up so you need to take an extra step you need to take an extra effort so that it is identified and then you nurture it very carefully with lot of love and care very softly so that whenever you get time or whenever you get bored of your routine activities you start liking that you start investing time in that so there is nothing like free time yes there is time there is a part of the daily routine which may be invested into something else that again interests you thank you sir so how to be a good orator first of all what is oratory we need to understand yes it begins with sharp listening skills because you must feel the urge to speak so as to be an orator and the urge to speak the urge to deliver comes when you have understood what you have to speak you understand what you have to speak once you are a very very patient listener because you need to have you need to establish two different levels of connections one is the connection with the person who is before you you need to speak to the person you need to communicate with the person and second and more important is your knowledge about the domain about the subject that you are going to bring in your conversation so oratory may be a very very professional kind of a very sharp kind of a very seasoned kind of a skill but it begins with your first step forward to get connected with someone so for for example you have joined a class it's a mix students class it's not your regular class and you see very strange faces there there are strangers who are not known to you so the first step of oratory and communication skill there from your side should be to offer a hello to them from your side be the a volunteer to connect with others the moment you connect you see that yes you have got a reason to speak when you have a reason to speak then you will find the vacuum for proper words once you have got the words then you will find the need to connect the words and hence the richness of the language practice of the language so things come automatically one after the other oratory is something to be practiced thank you sir so what are the three most important skills to be successful in today's day and age first and foremost is communication skills right there are people who write good songs and there are people who sing songs right i'm just citing an example now if i ask you give me five names of singers and then i ask you give me five names of song writers which one do you think is easier to answer the names of, Name singer. of singers names of singers yeah. why because they are vocal they have a communication skill they sing they can be heard they can be seen performing they give you an immediate sense of satisfaction and completion so i'm not saying that song composers are not valuable yes of course they are equally valuable because what will i sing if i don't have the verse but unfortunately people remember the person who is vocal so the first and foremost skill is communication skill i know a lot but i do not speak to anyone what is the use of my knowledge i need to connect with people and hence communication skill the second important thing is technological edge because technology is something which is going to rule rule the the days to come yeah, and it has started already actually 
so as you must have heard people saying that technology is not going to outnumber or reduce the jobs but yes people with technical expertise technological know how are going to reduce possibility of jobs for them who are not technically savvy so this is what is very important you need to be in connection with technology and the third and the as you said that what are the three skills the third one is to remain aware of what is happening around you knowledge is power if you do not have knowledge if you do not know what is happening in the globe today if you do not know what is happening to the climate or you do not know what is happening to science you do not know what is happening to commerce and industry and share market you are actually running behind others because information has got abundance these days it is so freely available that you need to simply soak in and be in connection with them though this is not a very it cannot be categorized as a skill as such but yes i still consider it to be a skill why because a person who has got knowledge about things around him is obviously going to get a separate edge a different edge over others so the person is definitely going to be a skillful person thank you sir so which magazines newspapers and books should we read to enhance our analytical skills so far as reading a book is concerned you read any book no book is harmful go to your libraries bookshop whatever you wish to pick up you pick up but make sure that you read the book it is a fashion it is a passion of some people to maintain a good library at home right archive of books big names but seldom do they read them do read reading is very important frontline is a magazine which you can go for it is the current affairs magazine and hindu is a newspaper which has got very rich language you probably won't be able to find any mistake in hindi in hindu even a print mistake they don't afford it. and they have got very 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 useful articles on various topics so if you can make it a habit to read hindu newspaper it's an english newspaper then it's definitely going to add to your knowledge thank you sir for your valuable words thank you so much sir for your valuable and insightful thoughts we and everyone listening will surely benefit and learn to how to manage time and implementing your words in their daily life thank you for tuning in see you in another podcast meanwhile stay, stay healthy, healthy keep learning and jai hind thank you wish you all the best thank you sir